Hi, Orange Group. Welcome to your video for this week. We're going to get started on sort six um, this week, so I'm very excited to get you started on that. Make sure you have your new list of words, your notebook, and your schedule back from me before you start this video. Glue your schedule in, and then you can get started. Good luck. All right. So getting started this week, you'll notice that you only have two columns um, for this week. That means that there's going to be a lot of words in each column. One column has the heading present. So this week we're going to be focusing on verbs or words. For example, sleep. Okay, that's an action a human can actually do. If you are sleeping right now, you would say something like, I am asleep. So my present tense form of the word sleep is sleep. Now, you can also have a past tense form. This means you did it before. So I am asleep right now, but in the past, maybe I slept yesterday. Maybe I slept last week. Maybe I slept for two hours yesterday. So my past tense form of the word sleep is slept. So notice how these spellings are changed. Okay, I also want to do the word um, keep. So if I were to say something like, I am going to keep this forever... That is what I am doing right this second. Right now, I will keep something. So I would say um, for my spelling of the word keep, I would spell it just like sort of similar to how I'm spelling sleep. I would spell it K-E-E-P. So I'm looking for that really quick so that I can show you this. Here we go. All right. Just like sleep, I have keep, it ends with E-E-P, and when I make it past tense, like I kept it in the past, I'm going to change it to K-E-P-T, kept. So we go from sleep to slept, and we go from keep to kept. Now there's another word in our sort this week that follows the same pattern, this E-E-P to an E-P-T pattern, so that's going to help you with your spelling. So the last one that we are going to learn and we are going to talk about this week is the word sweep. All right, when I sweep, I am going to sweep right now, okay? That is going on in the present tense currently, right now. Okay, if I wanna talk about what I did yesterday, I might say I swept the porch last night. So again, we change it EEP to EPT. So these are our three words, that, or these three um, beginning words that start this week that follow the same pattern of EEP to EPT from the present tense right now to the past tense, what happened before. We have some other patterns for this week. So I want to next move to the word shine. Right this exact second, I am going to shine. So present tense is shine. To change present tense shine to past tense, what I did before, I would write the word shown. Okay, the sun shines right now. The sun shone yesterday. Okay, so when I change this, I just change the I to an O. We have some other words that follow that pattern, but before we get going on those, I do want to mark this up. That these are my three words that go E-E-P-T to E-P-T. Okay, and we're next working on my words that go from the I to the O. Okay. So my next word that fits in this same category, um, just like the I to the O, is the word drive. I am driving right this second. Let's go for a drive right now. If I wanted to say I was doing this yesterday, I would say I drove yesterday. So my past tense of drive is drove. Again, you just change the I to an O, I to an O. All right, the last one that fits in this pattern for our category this week is the word freeze. Okay, last week there was a ton of snow, um, and so on Tuesday, it, it, uh, there was a freeze. Okay, presently it is freezing. It is frozen. It is going to be freezing right now. Past tense, what happened before is froze. Okay, so I went from freeze to froze. There will be a freeze or there is a freeze. I froze yesterday when I was walking outside. So we have two words that follow this I to O pattern. This one is a tiny bit different. Okay, instead of being an I in the middle, it's a double E to an O. So also you're changing your middle vowel to an O to go from present tense to past tense. All right, we have some other words that also fit into this category. I'm going to work over here though because I'm missing space. So I'm going to move over present and past, but I want you to keep in mind this is present, this is past. 
All right, so my next words and my next pattern that we're going to go through is that we have two words that go through this pattern. Okay, if I want to talk present tense about slide, um, do you want to slide with me right now? Past tense of slide would be slid. I used to do it. I slid down the stairs yesterday. Past tense. All right? I might also um, have the same pattern with the word bleed. I had a nose. I have a nosebleed right now. Okay? My nose is currently bleeding in this present tense. To go from pa to past tense, you would have bled. I bled yesterday when I fell down. Okay? So we're going slide to slid and bleed to bled. If you notice these, Okay, these both have something to do with taking away E's. So this bleed, you take away one E to go to bled, and in slide, you take away the end E, and it turns into slid. Okay, my next words that we are going to go through is we are going to go through some three words that follow the same pattern. The present tense right now is no. I know that that is incorrect right this second. Okay, I can change that to the past tense, what used to happen. If I change the O to an E and now it becomes new. I knew you were lying yesterday. Okay, so my present is no, my past is new. I can also follow this same pattern with draw. Okay, right now I will draw a hat. Okay, that is what I am doing currently. To go from draw to past tense, you would go drew. I drew a hat yesterday. That's what I used to do in the past. You can also follow this similar pattern with the word throw, okay? I'm gonna throw the ball right now. Right this second, I will throw. You can change that past tense to threw. I threw the ball yesterday. I threw the ball with my dad last night. Okay, so that's how we change. These three, if you notice, are all consonant. Well, this one has three consonants, but they all start with consonants. You change your vowel next to the W into an E. So these follow the pattern of change my vowel to an E, change my vowel to an E, change my vowel to an E. So I'm going to say vowel to E. All right, the last word that you're going to see in your sort this week that does not have a partner in its pattern is the word say. Can you say what you mean right now? Say what you mean, present tense. Okay, the past tense of say is said. I said that yesterday. I said that already. It already happened. It's in the past. So I want you to look at these sorts for this week. This is what you are going to be doing. All right, some follow patterns, some don't follow patterns, but you need to have all of these spellings and these present to past memorized by our quiz. Good luck.